Hey guys, Nix here. So, this is a response to R. Halus, though I can't figure out how to post a video response. I've checked both on my videos page and on his, and I don't see the button. Maybe I'm just blind, so somebody point me in the right direction. Anyhow, what's tough about my job? Well, there's a bunch of stuff, and I don't consider the physical labor involved one of them, because honestly, I enjoy physical labor within reasonable boundaries. One thing that's really tough about my job is uh, client relations, and getting a client to know how much you're actually doing. One really good example of this is the installation of a new lawn. Now, we got a couple of relatively wealthy clients who are rarely around their house. They're off on vacation most of the time. So if we see them during a job, it's usually only at beginning and end. You know, they'll make a point of setting up the job with us, and they'll go off on vacation for two weeks or whatever and come back and, you know, see the finished product. So uh, one thing that people don't realize is how much work goes into the preparation and the setup for a job of that nature. Rolling out the sod is the last and final thing you do. Actually, physically putting the lawn there is less than a tenth of the work. First, you gotta go out and you gotta rototill the whole thing, remove the existing lawn. Then you gotta dig your irrigation trenches, presuming you're putting irrigation in. That's a big one. Digging irrigation trenches, grading and leveling your, your surface, making everything the right height and the right flatness and everything, and making your planes proper, even just lining things up and gritting them out, takes quite a while. In fact, that's the vast majority of it. Now, if you're moving or bring, yeah, moving dirt either way, that's a lot of work as well. And people don't always realize that, that a couple days spent in the bed of a truck shoveling dirt into wheelbarrows is quite a bit of effort. So I suppose that's, that's probably the toughest thing to deal with about my job is you'll have somebody who is trying to get, you know, the best deal they can and Say my boss is a friend of theirs, so we're pretty much going to just work for hours. We won't, you know, take too much money over for the company. Just pay the overhead, pay the labor, pay the, the materials, and call it quits, you know. So that's effectively the best you can really do for a friend outside of working for free. And I'll help you move, but I'm not putting in a new lawn for you for free. That's a shitload of work. But, uh, yeah, so you'll have somebody who's trying to get, get under budget, and they don't realize that we're saving them thousands, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars already. And they'll come back once a week and they'll look at the project and be like, wow, this is all you've done in a week? And we're like, yeah, that took a week to do, to remove everything that was here, clean it up, get everything out, bring in a rototiller, bring in a root grinder, etc., etc., is a lot of work. And then to operate said machinery and move all said material. People don't realize that because they're not standing there watching you doing the job, which I can understand. You don't spend all day watching your laborers, as it were, but... I don't know, man. It's a little weird, because even when you try to explain it to people, they don't really get it. All they get is the dollar signs. It really is all they get. So I suppose there it is. It's client relations in terms of relative cost to relative workload. We, uh, in the recent past, have taken to offering people the cheaper alternatives, and it's bitten us in the ass a few times, because we'll do the cheaper alternative and do it well. We do quality work. And then they'll see it and go, well, that's not what I wanted. It's like, well, you didn't want to pay for what you wanted, so we did what you could afford. Anyhow, I guess that's really the toughest part of my job. I mean, sometimes I have to work my ass off and I come home and pass out after work from sheer exhaustion. But, I don't know, I kind of consider that more of a, a workout than tough. But, oh yeah, and it helps on that score that my boss is, is really down to earth and he's not an awful taskmaster. If you're tired, take a break. As long as you're getting your work done... You know, take your break when you need some shade, when you need water, whatever it is. Of course, the shade hasn't been too much of an issue yet here. But, uh, yeah, so that's what's the toughest about my... You know what's not tough? Little Whitefoot. Yeah. Kitty torture, kitty torture, kitty torture, kitty torture.